My name is Carol Mancusiangaro, Associate Director for Conservation and Research at the Whitney Museum of American Art. I was an art historian on a PhD track studying Donatello. Donatello's sculptures were just something that really spoke to me and that's what I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing. And of course I don't. <laughs> I do modern art, but that's what brought me into this field. Look at the new painting here that's had to be removed. Yes, and it's much duller too. Mm -hmm. Conservation science really blossomed as a field post-World War II because of these modern materials that artists were using. They went to the hardware store instead of the art store. And so these were materials that were never designed to have a long shelf life. Conservators had to figure out how to preserve those materials. And that's where the artist's voice is very helpful. That's how the artist documentation program started. Have you always printed on canvas, or did you done this on paper as well? I made some experiments on raw linen. It would still go through a printer? It, it was really tough, because yeah. it was really much softer. Yeah. There are now 32 interviews. They're online. You're basically just transferring oil stick mm -hmm. onto the back of the stencil. It's really about the realization of these works of art, and really getting a sense from them of their preservation. When I started working with artists, something really clicked. And fortunately, I was able to find a place here in the Whitney that enabled it to grow. There was no plan to have a conservation studio in any of the other proposals for the Whitney. So this is the first time a conservation studio has been incorporated. It's very exciting. Right now, we're standing in a space that will be partially our offices. As we cross this threshold, we get into the main lab of the uh, Conservation Center, and this is where we'll, have, we'll be treating paintings and sculptures together in one space. And on this front part will be a small space for our conservation for uh, film, video, and new media. A conservation studio should be a hub of a lot of activity, not just treating works of art, but studying them physically and technically, which is what has always been my interest. Conservation is very involved in the curatorial process, and vice versa. The curators are very comfortable with the conservators. And that melding of different functions to serve the work of art and the artists themselves, I think, is very much a part of what the Whitney represents. That unqualified respect for the creator who make these works of art. It works for my mind and soul.